So y'all, it's three days after the gold medal game in the Olympics, the gold medal basketball game. And Stephon Marbury, a.k.a. Starberry from Coney Island, Brooklyn, New York, is still crashing out on social media three days after the championship game. He's still crashing out about LeBron James, okay? Y'all, a FIBA MVP is not that deep at all. It's not that deep. This is how you know it's about, it's about way more than LeBron James winning that MVP trophy. It's about way more than that. He's making it seem like it's just about LeBron winning this MVP. It's not. Like I told y'all before in previous videos, Stefan has been trashing LeBron James' name, trying to sully his reputation for years. He spent a year and a half, almost two years, on his Instagram every time LeBron James had a game, pointing out a LeBron James missed shot. How you the king and you miss a wide open three? How you the king, you can't shoot? How you the king, you miss a mid-range shot? How you the king and you miss a free throw? How you the king and, and, and you know, um, you miss a pass to the right pass to the right person? How you the king and you pass to the open man instead of taking a shot over three defenders? How you the king and, and you didn't make a move to the basket at this point? How you the king, you don't got no go-to move? How you the king when you miss a wide open shot? How you the king and you miss the shot at all? At all? How you the king when you miss any shots? <laughs> That's the type of ridiculous stuff he was doing on Instagram. I'm not exaggerating. I'm not lying. I exaggerated on that last statement I just made, right? How you the king when you miss any shots? But he was saying how you the king and LeBron missing shots. Like, oh, he missed a mid-range shot. It was ridiculous, right? And I was, like I said before, it was so ridiculous. Dwayne Wade unfollowed him. And Stefan was mad that Dwayne unfollowed him. Dwayne Wade going to unfollow me because I'm, I'm talking about his friend LeBron James and Bro, listen, you know, this is a real deal. Like I told y'all, Stefan got embarrassed on a world stage because people found out he didn't start talking about LeBron shouldn't be MVP until people came into his comments clowning him for LeBron James not dapping him up after the game, after he was beating on LeBron's chest, trying to get LeBron, what's up? Yeah, good game, Bron, trying to beat on LeBron's chest, trying to dap Bron up and beat him. He was hitting on Bron's chest and LeBron didn't even look in his direction at all. He knew Stefan was right there and didn't look in his direction at all because he always knew about Stefan trashing his name and, and trying to clown him out and trying to sully his name and, and, and rake him through the coals for years. He saw the shot Stefan was taking at him. Some of y'all going to come in here talking about some, all Stefan said was LeBron ain't the GOAT. Why is LeBron mad about that? No, the man was out here trashing everything LeBron James did. Every time LeBron had a nationally televised game, he would go on Instagram and record LeBron missing a shot and say, oh, LeBron, you can't shoot. You ain't the GOAT. Oh, LeBron, he would do that all the time. And anybody that's following Stephon Marbury, a.k.a. Starberry, know I'm not lying, right? LeBron James saw that. And so why would you expect LeBron to be in, in why would you be trying to dap LeBron up and beat on his chest? Good game, bro. It's all love, baby. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Keep that same energy. I, and I told you, I hate dudes like Stefan that do this. If you trashing me, don't come in when you see me at a game. Good game, baby. It's all love. Don't all don't don't it's all love me. Keep that, keep that hate and animosity with you. I'm not going to show you love, fam. I'm not. I'm not going to say what's up. I'm not going to give you dap. I'm not going to say it's all good. I'm not going to embrace you. I'm not going to be um, endearing to you at all, fam. And I'm glad LeBron didn't look his way. I'm glad because Stefan deserved that. Stefan been clowning out for the longest of time. You hear my son in the background having a good time. Stefan been clowned out for a long time. You feel me? Even before he ate that Vaseline for the world to see. I, I, I always bring this up in every every one of my videos about Stefan Marbury. When they did that special on the 2004 Olympic team, and grown grown Stefan, grown ass Stefan Marbury, is is making fun of the fact that Emeka Okafor can't remember some of the plays during the Olympics, and like and like trying to highlight, trying to clown him out. Ooh, big Okafor can't remember them plays. Ooh. Ooh, he can't remember them plays. Ooh, big Okafor, right? This Omega Okafor is entering his rookie year. He's playing with the Olympic team, right? And then they was like, who drafted Who drafted Okafor? Charlotte Bobcats. Ooh, Charlotte in trouble. Ooh, they in trouble. Ooh, this is a grown man, y'all. This is a grown man trying to belittle this young dude, trying to get the plays together. You know what I mean? Omega Okafor, young um, a, a NCAA champion, number one draft pick at that time. 
And here's Stefan grown, but grown behind his grown tail, trying to like trying to trash him, super grown, trying to like belittle him. That's when I, I was 11 years old when that happened, 2004. And I remember looking like, yo, this dude, Stefan, this is a little weird. And I was a fan of Stefan's game. Stefan was a very good player. He wasn't great. He was very good. But he never affected winning on any scale, on any team he was on. He never affected winning in a positive way. You know what I mean? He Stefan wasn't no winner like in the in the league like that. He was an all star player for two. I think he was like a two time all star, two or three times. I think two time. Right? He could hoop. He could really score the rock. He could. You know what I mean? He's a prolific scorer. But it, I mean, that was it. He had a he, he had a nice jump shot, a crossover, all of that. But he underachieved. You know what I mean? And so I never and I never would even be calling this out. But Stefan got a lot of hate in his heart. You know what I mean? And the think that I, to to believe that see this is the problem he wasn't gonna say nothing about lebron winning that mvp trophy until people put him on blast damn Bron ain't even dap you up bro Bron ignored you he got mad at that and now he said okay i'm gonna show lebron fans so i'm gonna show them something okay oh uh, that's why your man shouldn't be mvp and it's one thing to believe that lebron james shouldn't be a uh, fever mvp even though i'm fine with him winning it because he was the most consistent player through all six games I wouldn't have been upset if Steph Curry would have won because he was so exceptionally good in the last two games. You couldn't deny that. He was outstandingly great in them last two games, out of this world. But Braun was the most consistent through all of the games, right? Stephon, though, even if you believe Stephon, even if Stephon believes Steph Curry should have won, him putting it on his story six times and then putting how Steph Curry was the real MVP, about four or five times, him saying, this, this is not right. LeBron is not not the MVP. He kept putting it on his story, kept commenting under every post with LeBron James man being FIBA, FIBA, MB, FIBA MVP. That's when I knew, oh, this dude bitter. He act like a bitter baby mama. This is ridiculous. Like, And again, he's disingenuously trying to act. Now he's trying to act like LeBron didn't see him at first. He's like, no, he saw you, bro. He saw you. Then he go... He didn't dab me up. You know, he he doing that because, you know, I said he not the MVP. I said Steph Curry was the MVP. Bro, that not being disingenuous. Bron, this is before Bron was even announced the MVP, that LeBron didn't dap you up. He know what type of person you are. He knew you was throwing him under the bus. He knew you was trashing him. Not throwing him under the bus. You was trashing him for years. Why would he be your friend and dap you up? Why would he show you love? Come on, bro. Like, I hate dudes like that. No, stand, stand on your hate when you see me. Stand on what you've been doing for all them years. Stand on your dislike for me. Stand on your constant uh, raking me through the coals. Keep that energy up. Don't see me in there switch up. Don't see me. It's all love, baby. What's up, baby? Don't do No, it's not. It's not. Stefan, stay over there. Don't talk to me. Don't even try to put your hands on. He better be lucky. LeBron told him, hey, fam, don't touch me, bro. Don't touch me in no way. Some of y'all, I mean, that's the sensitive, that's the sensitivity in LeBron. No, it's man stuff. Because this is the thing, too. Because Stefan, me and like Stefan Marbury and Kwame Brown, they throw hate LeBron James way and try to act like they are the they they try to act like they are the epitome or the paragon of masculinity. They always try to act like, oh, I'm a man and LeBron's not a real man. He's not a man's man and all of that. Meanwhile, Kwame Brown was getting bullied by everybody in the NBA. And then he don't got the strength to go at the people who really was bullying him, like Michael Jordan, like Kobe Bryant was punking him. Mike was punking him, kicking balls in the stands and making Kwame Brown go fetch the balls after the game. He don't have the strength to go at them because he's scared of the fan base that he's accumulated, the LeBron James haters. He's scared of the LeBron James haters that he's accumulated on his channel, turning on him if he criticizes Michael Jordan and Kobe Bryant for punking him. So he don't say nothing about Kobe, which is weak to me, right? Which is weak. Sorry, y'all. Yeah, just like Stephon Marbury. I mean, it's just like Kwame Brown. Stephon Marbury talking about some LeBron. He ain't, he ain't, um, what did he say? Excuse me. He was like basically saying LeBron ain't, he ain't strong enough to address me face to face. Stephon, you ain't nobody, bro. You was a Vaseline eater, bro. You a petroleum jelly eater, dog. Who is scared of talk, saying something to you, bro? You eat Vaseline, bro. Nobody's scared of Vaseline eating, dude. We not with the star on the side of your head. Nobody's scared of that. Nobody. <laughs> so what are you talking about? Oh, he ain't strong enough to come at me. Acting like he the paragon of masculinity. Stefan, gone, man. And then don't get on my channel. None of y'all come on here. Kwame Brown is a real dude. He's a real stand-up stand dude. No, he's not. 
he victim shamed Breonna Taylor for her murder by law enforcement. He blamed Breonna Taylor for her own murder. She put, she did stuff to put herself in that position, all that. You know, clowned out dude. Stefan is a clown and a weirdo. Knock it off, Stefan.